Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be using Corel Draw. I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, your artwork for uh, laser engraving, laser cutting. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to File, you want to go to New, and all laser engravers are going to be different. So a standard epilogue laser engraver might be 24 by 18. So what you want to do is go ahead on the width, indicate 24, and on the height, indicate 18. Click Enter. Okay, so this area here is basically going to be your uh, laser engraver bed. Okay, we're going to go ahead and create a logo so that we can cut. Um, so we're going to go ahead and import. We're going to import this Star Wars graphic I used in the last video. Okay, I want this. We're going to make a keychain, so we want this to be two inches. So we'll go ahead and make that two, change this to two, hit enter. Okay, and then we're going to drag this up in the upper left corner. Okay, now we're going to zoom in on this, control plus, control plus. Um, okay, now we're going to trace this. So we want to go ahead and right mouse click, outline trace, select detailed logo. Okay, now we want to go ahead, once it's finished, click OK. We want to click and drag the traced image off to the right and get rid of the one that we traced. Okay, so we have to do a few things to this before we can actually create a, uh, a keychain. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and group this. So Control U will ungroup it. Then we want to go ahead and get uh, these part actually. This one here, we're going to go ahead and delete because we're going to we don't need the inner circle. So we'll go ahead and delete. We want to create another circle. So we'll go ahead and get the circle tool, click and drag, holding down the shift key, and then we'll go up here. We want the, this to be two inches. So two tab two enter. Now, in order for a laser engraver to cut to, to produce a vector cut, the line has to be a hairline. So with the with the line circle line selected, you want to come up here to the pen tool. And you want to go ahead and indicate hairline. So now this is going to, the circle is going to cut, and anywhere that is going to have a raster image, which means it's going to be engraved. So that has to be a solid black color with no outline. So we'll go ahead and click on that, make sure that's black. Uh, right down there, it's black. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and group this back up. So Control G will group it. Uh, we're going to Hit P on the keypad, that'll place the artwork in the center. Hit P on the keypad, then Control minus will zoom back out. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get our magnifying tool and we're going to zoom in to this. Okay, so now we want to create a little loop here to put the keys on. All right, so to do that, we want to go ahead and put a guide out here. So right, and what you do to get guides is just go ahead and click on the ruler, click and drag, and it'll pull a guide out. So we're going to zoom in on this, put the pointer right there, Control Plus. Okay, we're going to create a little loop right here. So to do that, we're going to get our square tool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the quadrant, hold down the Shift key, and we're going to pull that out a little bit. I guess right about there. Sorry. Let's try that again. Click, drag out, hold down the shift key. Okay, we'll drag up a little bit for this. Uh, maybe make this a little bit smaller. Hold down the shift key. Right about there. So we're going to make a little area there to put your keys, key ring through. Okay, so go ahead and click off that with the with the pointer tool, just click anywhere. All right, to round the corners, we want to click that. We want to go ahead and get this over to the left here, get the shape tool. And we want to just click, click and drag that. Okay, so now we have a circle. Now what we want to do is get another square, go from the node here over to here. Right there. Now we want to drag this down. 
Okay, now we're going to get the pointer tool, click the desktop to click off. Now we have to weld these two pieces together. So let's zoom in, make sure that this is where we want it to be. Let's go to view by wireframe. Okay, this is a little off right here. So we're going to click and drag a guide out all right to there. Okay, now click on the square. Go ahead and pull that square out till it snaps to the guide. And if it's not snapping, go up here to snap to, put on guidelines. Make sure that's checked. Okay, click back on the box and then there you go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go back to view, view by normal. Now we're going to click that circle, that square. We're going to go ahead and say weld to with the weld tool and click up here. Oops, didn't do it. Okay, let's go hit one more try. Click there, weld to, weld to that. Okay, now we want to weld that to this big circle. So we click weld, go to here, click there. Okay, now we can zoom out. Now we need to put a little circle right here so we can put our loop or a metal uh, piece through. So we want to go ahead and click in here. Let's click. Okay, hold on. Undo. Click. Hold down the shift key and the control at the same time. Okay. So now we want to click off of that with the pointer tool. Click on the desktop. So this is our little cutout. Now if you want to move something up and you want to move it up incrementally, there's a little tool up here called nudge offset and this is set to 0 0.01. So what you can do is change that too. And you can go ahead and click on that and move it up incrementally. Okay, this looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead and keep that. And now when we, if we want to round this, if we want to make a 3D model out of this, we can go ahead and round these corners in um, Design Sparks Mechanical, but I'm not going to round them. This is just going to be a cutout. So for laser engraving purposes. So we'll go ahead and click on the line, hit delete. We don't need these lines anymore. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drag a marquee around the logo. We're going to put it up here in the corner, up in the upper left corner. All right, so now we want to zoom in on this. Now, if you're making a whole bunch of these, you want to go ahead and uh, you want to go ahead and step step this. So you want to step this piece of artwork over to the right, and then once you have a whole bunch of those, you want to step the artwork down. So in order to do that, we want to figure out how big the eye is. We know that we make it, we made it two inches. So you want to go ahead and um, select everything. Go ahead and say object, transformations, and you want to say position. Okay, then you're going to get a little box out here. So you want to go say like we want to move this on the X and we want to move it since it's two, we want a little bit of space in between. We want to move it 2.25. So, and then we want to go ahead and say however many copies we want. So maybe like say 10, and then we want to go ahead and hit reply. Okay. So that was a little bit too much. We only needed nine. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one. Okay. Now we want to select everything. And instead of having on the X, we want to put the X to zero because now we're moving it on the Y and we want to put minus. So we want to put minus 2.25 and we want, we want 10 copies or actually we want a little bit less. So we want about eight here. So we want to hit apply. Okay. So now we want to control minus to zoom out, probably get rid of two of these rows. We only needed six, six. So, okay, we'll go ahead and hit delete that. So now, your artwork is set up. So now you want to basically select everything, control G to group it, P on the keyboard to center it. Okay, now you have one page that you need. So what you're going to do on your laser engraver when you send it over, I, mean, I don't have my computer hooked up to a laser engraver, but um, I know the procedures. So what you're going to do, since this is an out hairline, and this is solid, what's going to happen is when you send it over, to, if you have like an Epilog 50 or a uh, Helix, when you send this over to print, to print, what it's going to do, it's going to cut 
this line out, and then it's going, or it's going to uh, go back and forth and engrave this black part. And then it's going to come back and cut out this line here. So you'll just throw your material, a 28 or 24 by 18 inch piece of material, if you're going to cut this on acrylic. You throw the acrylic in the laser engraver, um, do your focusing, your laser focus, and then go ahead and send it over. Make sure your settings are correct. You're going to need a setting for the cutting, the laser, the vector cutting part, and then you're going to need a setting for the raster part. Uh, and, and normally your Corel Draw, once you get a laser engraver, Corel Draw has the preset uh, settings in there. So when you go to hit print, you'll just specify. Uh, your uh, laser engraver and then you'll specify uh, the cutting and then you'll specify the vectoring. Um, so basically this is how you would do it. Now you're going to get a whole bunch of these and you'll have a whole bunch of keychains that you could use. Um, and then if you don't want to do keychains, if you wanted to actually make a 3D keychain, you can just go ahead and select this one. Or select one of them. So you'd have to select on it, click on it, hit Control U to ungroup. Then you want to select just one of these, and then you go ahead and uh, file, do a save as, change the Corel Draw type down to SVG, um, save it to the desktop, hit Select Only. Make sure you select only, or we'll get all of that stuff. So you just want to go ahead and hit Save. You can go with the default there. Hit OK. Now you have your SVG file. You're going to be able to go ahead and bring that into a free CAD and basically.